Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Devar Halacha. And here's a brand new halacha for you. And it's for Sunday, the 29th day of July, which is the 17th day of Av. Here we go. Now, we were in the middle of a summertime group of halachas, if you remember, about rabbis giving us all kinds of laws that affect um, our summer. And our last part of that section is about driving, and there are driving halachas. Uh, now, you won't find these exactly in the Shulchan Aruch because the Shulchan Aruch, the Code of Jewish Law, was written hundreds of years before cars existed. But a lot of rabbis of today, including Rabbi Leibowitz, that I get a lot of my laws from, um, he wrote about this and collected the opinions of a lot of rabbis of our decade who have given us psak and decision based on how much a Jew has to take care of his uh, life, because that is a command from God that a Jew has to take care of his life while he lives. And they have Paskin for us, decided for us some safety laws vis-a-vis uh, -vis our cars, and I'm now going to list them for you. Um, most of the rabbis of today, looking at safety statistics and everything and how a Jew has to take care of himself, let's get to the point, say that it's okay to speak with a Bluetooth um, attachment while you're driving. That's considered taking care of yourself. So to speak on Bluetooth, a lot of the rabbis of today are saying is permissible while you're driving. Um, having the inside dome light or any of the inside lights on in your car while you're driving, a lot of rabbis of today are saying that you should not do that. It distracts the driver. Um, it's also bothersome to passing drivers and uh, therefore having your inside lights on inside the car is considered a no-no -no by a lot of the rabbis of today who were asked about car safety and what a Jew is allowed to do. So no lights on inside of the car while you're driving. Also, the, uh, most of the rabbis of today are saying that you are obligated to wear halachically, you know, your seatbelt. You halachically have to wear your seatbelt when you drive, and that's because it's uh, safer that way. Um, three times more likely to survive a crash if you're wearing a seatbelt, and therefore by halacha, you are commanded to wear a seatbelt while driving. Um, you must be uh, enough awake to be able to not be going like this while you're driving. If you are in danger of falling asleep while you're driving, then the rabbis of today have decided for us that that is a grave danger to you, and you must stop if you're that tired. Take a nap if that'll do it for you, and then after the nap, do whatever you got to do to wake yourself up, and then maybe see if you're awake enough, continue driving. But the bottom line is, you're not allowed halachically to drive if you're very tired. Um, never, according to halacha, the rabbis of today are teaching us this, never are you allowed to leave a child alone in a car um, with the car locked or windows sealed up. It's dangerous. As you know from news stories, you're not allowed to do that, period. Uh, if the motor's running with the air on and you say, okay, the kid's safe. The motor's running, the air is on, and the car is locked. It's still a lot of the rabbis of today are saying that's not a good arrangement for a child. You are obligated to take care of yourself and your child, and you're not allowed to do that to your child. That's the, what a lot of the rabbis of today are deciding for us on these driving matters. Okay, I'm going to start a new unit tomorrow. Stay tuned for more. We'll always give you, God willing, more halachas each day. Thanks for logging on. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.